Good question. Um, okay, let's start with if you're not quite following because I'm a terrible teacher, um, put your icons to red. If you are following or you begin to follow, put them to green and we'll see where we are at the end and we'll take that from there. But right now we'll start from the beginning and try and get a grasp on this. And I have some examples and I think that they'll help. Okay, so the RTS 3000 has 3182 horsepower, like we discussed, yes? That might not seem like a lot when you take into consideration that the vehicle's dry weight is 19,000 kilograms, but the machine operates underwater. So when it's in its work environment, the buoyancy cancels out the weight. So when it's in its working environment, its weight is zero. So its power to weight ratio is infinity. If we put in an example, just to try and uh, bring this into perspective, uh, the Venom GT, which is which is pretty cool, uh, is it weighs. 2743 pounds and has 1244 horsepower so its power to weight ratio is uh like just 2.2 yeah 2.2 uh that should clear it up i mean 